Hello, my name is Matthew Nardafonso, and today I will be doing a read aloud prediction strategy of Horsefly and Honeybee by Randy Cecil, as outlined in the Ontario Kindergarten Curriculum. So before I begin reading this book, I may introduce to the class a series of questions, the open-ended questions for them to think about, such as, when you look at the cover of this book, what thoughts come to mind? What do you think this story might be about? Do you think this story might about, be about nature since they're standing about flowers? Do you think it might be about friendship? And I may ask them to get to say a few words each about what they think this story might be about. And without further ado, I'm gonna begin reading. Honeybee was tired. So she stretched and yawned and plopped down inside a flower for a nap. But Horsefly was already inside. They had a fight. It wasn't pretty. Horsefly lost a ring. Honeybee lost a ring too. Drat, said Horsefly. Then he ran away. Drat, said Honeybee. And she ran away too. Honeybee started the long walk home. She walked slowly and took lots of breaks. Honeybee wasn't used to walking, but with just one ring, she couldn't fly. Now, at this point in the story, I may pause for a second and ask any students if they've had maybe any times where they've had problems and how they've over tried to overcome it. Or any other thoughts that come to mind, maybe about sadness or times they were mad and, and ways they dealt with it. Then she came upon a pond. What could she do? She couldn't fly over it. Suddenly, she was grabbed from behind. At this point again, I may pause the story and ask the students, what do you think happens next? Predict what comes to mind. Try to get a few open-ended questions that come out of that. Drat, said Honeybee. Bullfrog licked his lips as he carried her deep into the pond. He plopped Honeybee down on a lily pad, right next to Horsefly. Then Bullfrog ran away in search of more dinner. Drat, said Horsefly. Drat, said Honeybee. They sat there for a long time. Horsefly pouted. Honeybee pouted. Horsefly moaned. Honeybee moaned. And then they heard Bullfrog coming back. Horsefly grabbed Honeybee. Honeybee grabbed Horsefly. They each flapped a ring and up they went. Again, I may pause the class and ask them a few open-ended questions about what they predict may happen next in the story. A few words that may come to mind. Drat, said Bullfrog. He hopped faster. But there he goes. There goes Hun Horsefly and Honeybee. He shot his sticky tongue into the air after them, but Horsefly and Honeybee were already out of reach. Drat, said Bullfrog. Together, Honeybee and Horsefly flew far away. They flew and flew, and finally they landed on a flower. And there was plenty of room for both of them. So again, I may now end the book asking students what they thought of it, what they thought about friendship, about teamwork, a few open-ended questions trying to get them to think about the story and other kind of real-life situations that maybe relate to this story. So thank you very much.